in Romania was seen with a new nose-mounted device that helps pilots see through dust clouds to land safely and locate wounded soldiers on the ground. As seen in the photo at the top of this article, the HH-60M is equipped with a Degraded Visual Environment Pilotage System, or DVEPS, which is the uppermost, forward-facing sensor on the nose of the aircraft. A black gimbal below that houses a medevac mission sensor, which is a forward-looking infrared, FLIR, sensor turret. Together, the sensors are meant to help pilots fly through clouds of dust, sand, snow, and fog, collectively called Degraded Visual Environments as detailed in the video below from the U.S. Army's Combat Development Command, DEVCOM, Aviation and Missile Center. DVEPS is a situational awareness system equipped with a light detection and ranging, or litter sensor, and long-wave infrared cameras coupled with a terrain database that provides pilots with a synthetic view of the world outside the aircraft through their helmet-mounted displays and cockpit screens. It provides 3D imagery of the ground and surrounding area through dust clouds and sand that are often kicked up by a helicopter's rotor downwash when landing. Those conditions, referred to as a brownout, can blind pilots to their altitude above the ground and attitude, as well as to hazardous nearby obstacles like buildings, power lines, and vehicles. Degraded visual environments, DVE, are a major challenge for rotorcraft pilots who must accurately gauge their height above the ground and keep an eye on nearby hazards while landing in austere, sometimes tight locations between buildings, in forested areas, or on uneven terrain. Medevac helicopters routinely fly into hazardous conditions to rescue wounded soldiers. They very seldom have the luxury of waiting for better weather to launch or choosing ideal, uncluttered landing zones. DVE conditions also disrupt a helicopter crew's view of enemy troops around a landing zone. The Army defines DVE as, reduced visibility of potentially varying degree, wherein situational awareness and aircraft control cannot be maintained as comprehensively as they are in normal visual meteorological conditions and can potentially be lost, according to the DEVCOM. As visibility around a helicopter degrades, aviation operations become more dangerous, less effective, and often impossible or deadly. DVE can be caused by aircraft but also can be environmental. Smoke from nearby fires, fog, snow, rain, and smog, among other environmental factors, can produce DVE conditions in which it becomes inherently more difficult and dangerous to fly. The system also provides an image of the LZ to assist in identifying the location of the patient and obstacles to extracting the patient in a quick and safe manner, an Army aviation spokesperson told the war zone. Though it is called a pilotage system it is not currently intended to pilot the aircraft with any level of autonomy, but instead feed vital situational awareness information to human pilots, the Army spokesperson said. DVEPS were installed on 15 Army HH-60 Mega seconds in 2021 and they are now forward deployed in support of contingency operations, the spokesperson said. The helicopter seen in Romania is participating in personnel recovery training with the UK 140th Expeditionary Air Wing on July 12, according to captions accompanying the photos posted to the US Defense Visual Information Distribution. The DVEPS system was developed by Sierra Nevada Corp. Under a contract awarded by the Army and U.S. Special Operations Command to provide pilots with a multi-sensor suite to help them maintain spatial awareness in DVE conditions. Brownout and other situations where pilots lose visual contact with their surroundings are a leading cause of accidents for both military and civilian aircraft. SNC's DVE technology also provides terrain and obstacle awareness, including cable and wire detection, in limited visibility conditions. DVEPS offers a leap ahead capability to enhance situational awareness today and provides the foundation for an incremental growth path to a much greater capability such as piloting or supervised autonomy.